guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing with you how I gained weight. Magpapansin nyo sa vlog ko, since I started this channel, you will see the difference of my face before, one year ago, and my face ngayon. Mahikita nyo talaga yung difference sa mukha pa lang. Not to mention my arms and my legs ngayon. Mas may weight na talaga ako ngayon. So, if you're interested to know more about how I gained weight, then please keep on watching. <music> Let's start. Just a little bit of background para malaman nyo where I came from, kung, kung ano yung pagkukumpera natin sa, sa weight ko ngayon compared before. Ever since nagdalaga ako, underweight po ako until nagtapos ako ng college, until nagtrabaho na ako. All my life, underweight ako. And isa lang talaga yung dream ko sa buhay ko before. I wanted to have a normal BMI result. Kasi every time, di ba, may parang yearly check nung high school, nung grade school, ganun. And lagi talagang sinasabi na parang malnourish yung peg ko and underweight nga ako. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung photos ko before para makita nyo gano'n o kapayat. Grabe, parang itong mga photos ito, parang nanditiri ako tingnan. Kasi I thought before, like, at least at some point, nung nag-college ako, feeling ko tumaba ako. Pero, kung i-compare ko siya ngayon, sobrang payat ko pa rin pala tingnan. Pero anyways, that was the past and I'm really glad sa progress ko ngayon, sa itsura ko ngayon. Simula na nag-gain weight ako. So, ayan ang mga photos, guys. Uh, madami ako papakitang photos para makita nyo yung from when I was in college, from when I worked after graduating college, nag-work ako, underweight pa rin ako. Anyways, disclaimer lang po pala, bago ako magsimula, I just wanna let you all know that I have PICOS and I have learned that I have PICOS for about 5 years na. And bago kayo mag-comment na part ng PICOS is pagiging ng weight, I just wanna let you know na for 4 years that I had PICOS, never akong tumaba, never akong uh, nagkaging ng weight. And lagi yung nasasabi na napapansin ng doktor na isa ako sa mga may picos na hindi tumataba. Okay, so I just wanna let you know that I started gaining weight last year. I started having a normal BMI last year and this is what happened. This is what I did and also I'll be saying some tips kung paano mag-gain weight. If hindi man mag-work tong mga ginawa ko, I'll also be saying some helpful tips dito sa video na to that would help you gain weight. Alright, so first of all, we all know that last year nag-start yung quarantine. Last year nag-start na hindi tayo pwede lumabas, hindi tayo pwede mag-dine in, sa labas, and all. So last year din nag-start na mag-work from home ako. So what happened was, since I started working from home, it was easier for me to eat on time. So first thing na alam ko na nag-work sa akin, bakit ako nag-gain weight, is I had a consistency sa mga ginagawa ko everyday, sa kinakain ko everyday. That's one thing na kung may gusto kayo sa buhay, gusto nyong ma-achieve, dapat talaga may consistency. Consistency doesn't mean one week mo lang siya ginawa, consistent ka na. No, it takes 21 days to build a habit. And yung nangyari sa akin, sa tinagal-tagal kong nag-work from home, sobra talaga yung improvement at nakita ko talaga yung weight niya in a good way. So, that's the first thing. Dapat consistent ka din sa mga kinakain mo, sa, sa daily routine mo, kung anong oras ka sa snacks, anong oras ka kumakain. Second of all is what you eat. Very important yan a factor because all my life, trying hard po talaga akong mag-gain ng weight before because it is one of my insecurities na nakikita ko na parang since I was in grade school to high school to college, nakikita ko talaga yung mga kabatch ko na mukha talagang dalaga na tingnan. And I was stuck to being like a kid. Diba? Parang yung height ko pa nga lang, batang-bata na yung height ko. Tapos yung figure ko pa, sobrang bata pa. Kahit nag-18 na ako, lagi pa rin akong hinihinga ng ID pag pumapasok ako sa bars before or sa mga party-party. Tinitingnan dala yung ID ko if legal age na ba ako. So, part yan sa insecurity ko na yung mga kabatch ko, may mga hips na, malalaki na mga hips, may mga ano na, hinaharap. So, parang for me, like, bakit ako stick pa din? Ganon. And I did everything from going to the gym. Trust me, nag-gym ako but it, I wasn't consistent. So that's one thing. I went to the gym. Nahimatay ako sa gym. Ang daming nangyari. And I also drank the protein shakes doon sa gym na binibenta na parang isang bottle na. Parang ganun. Tapos 
may meron silang parang pampagain ng weight, meron din silang pampag lose ng weight. So I chose the the one, syempre, na pampagain ng weight. Pero na-realize ko before na kahit gumagastos ako sa mga gym, mga ganun, walang improvement. It's just because I realized na my lifestyle before was really inconsistent. Like, kung nag-gym ako, like, siguro pa-skip-skip at hindi ko pa nakukompleto yung dapat kong program, diba? So, it's also one thing and also I realized before na sa sobrang trying hard ko na mag-gain ng weight, kumakain ako ng madami. Pang, alam mo yun, like, three meals a day, pero sobrang dami kong kinakain. Especially rice. Sobrang dami kong rice. Pero, like, parang pang one time, big time. And now, I realize na mas better pala yung hindi ganun kadami na meals. I mean, saktong meals lang. At the same time, may snacks ka pa din. And also, it matters pala na hindi junk food yung kinakain mo. It matters what you eat and intake. Kasi, if junk foods lang, tapos magiging kang ng weight through junk foods and soda, hindi din maganda yung pag-gain ng weight mo because magiging unhealthy ka at nakakaroon ka ng sakit niyan, girl. So, chine-check ko. Actually, it's been a while since I checked Google paano magiging ng weight. And I just realized, last year na-apply ko pala lahat to without researching how to gain weight. It just so happened that I was living a healthy lifestyle last year because of the pandemic. Siyempre, mas na-push tayo maging conscious sa kinakain natin, right? So, ayun na nga, last year, I started eating healthy because my husband, first of all, siya yung nagluluto sa bahay. And before kasi, let's just say, maarte ako sa pagkain. And every time may mga vegetables na niluluto sa bahay namin before, nang hindi pa ako kasal, hindi talaga ako makain, guys. Like, sorry ha, pero kung may judge niyo ako dito, <laughs> talagang judgeable naman. Kasi, pag may food na parang ayoko, like okra or anything na vegetables na parang feeling ko hindi masarap, I tend to get pansit kanton. I tend to get tuna or kakain na lang ako ng cream o and then milk. That's it. Hindi ako kakain ng meal. So, ayun. And also, napansin ko before na nagsiskip talaga ako ng meals and then bumabawi ako sa next meal na masarap. Which is really wrong kasi hindi siya consistent. So, nung nagka-pandemic na nga last year, kung anong niluluto ng husband ko, kinakain ko because, syempre, first of all, wala na tayo sa lugar na mag-inarte and na-realize ko din na kailangan kong kumain ng nutritious food kung gusto kong maging healthy, kung gusto kong malabanan tong COVID, di ba? As much as possible, gusto natin talagang healthy tayo. So, that one good thing that happened last year. And also, I started to eat healthy snacks. Instead of eating junk foods, I eat nuts na. So, that's macadamia nuts, almond nuts, or snacks instead na sa mga, alam mo yun, yung mga junk foods lang yung kinakain mo. So, it's also one good thing. And also, kumakain na rin ako ng oatmeal, guys. Before kasi, like, pag oatmeal, parang kinakain ko lang siya if kumakain yung mom ko, humihi lang ako sa kanya. But that's it. Hindi ko siya parang tinitingnan as something healthy or what. Parang kinakain ko lang siya because I just want to. And feel ko lang. But when I checked Google kanina on how to gain weight, na-realize ko that I was really doing it. Kung nandito kasi sa tips for gaining weight is add high calorie foods to existing dishes like nuts, seeds, and dry fruit that make a great addition to salads, rice dishes, pasta dishes, and etc. And add healthy fats and oils to existing dishes like add olive oil, peanut oil, or safflower oil to as many food as possible. So, ngayon kasi, we are now using olive oil na din. And uh, nag-start din kami niyan last year nung, nung nag-start na kami mag-think na mag-healthy living na and all. And hindi ko talaga to na-check. Ngayon lang, and I just realized na we are on the right track pala. And that's the reason why I gained weight in a good way. Ayan. So, yun na nga yung sinabi ko. You have to increase your calorie intake. So, consume an additional 500 calories per day. An extra 500 calories per day is enough to help you gain weight. But should not leave you feeling sluggish, bloated, or sick. Kaya nga dapat, yung mga kinakain nyo na mga high calorie foods are granola, meat, fish, avocado, milk or dairy foods, sweet potatoes, whole grains or oatmeal, nuts, macadamia or almond nuts. So, yung mga foods na yun na mga high in calorie, yun yung mga dapat yung itake and dapat make sure hindi ka kumakain ng unhealthy foods para yung progress nyo sa pagiging weight is on the healthier side or para hindi kayo magka-diabetes or ano pang mga complications in the future because of what you're eating. Also, one thing that I know, that ba pag gustong mag-lose ng weight, iinom ka ng isang glass ng water bag kumain para mabusog na kayo agad. So, if gusto nyo mag-gain ng weight, huwag kayong uminom ng isang glass of water before eating para hindi kayo ma-full agad. So, siguro kasi na yun yung ginagawa ko. Hindi to sure way ha, pero yan yung ginagawa ko. I'm just sharing what I know. Next naman is, syempre, if you wanna gain weight, you have to eat a lot. 
So what I mean is, you have to eat in between meals. Sample, oh, magsa snacks kayo, de ba? Sure, before. The difference kasi before na kumakain ako. Nung ko pasok ko sa office, sure nagfollow kana ng schedule. And part ng schedule mo is kilangan mo magalot ng time na pumunta sa pantry nyo or sa canteen to buy snacks or food. Kasi sure hindi naman pa rin ko maayos sa station nyo or sa office nyo if that's the rule. So yung keys ko last year, since nasa bahay lang ako, then you can squeeze in eating snacks while you're working. That's the beauty of it. Pero if hindi naman guys, if allowed naman sa inyo na kumain kayo ng snacks within yung, sa office or sa station nyo, then I would suggest na kumain kayo ng snacks in between meals. Kasi if you want to gain weight, syempre dapat kang kumain ng kumain din. Next thing naman is mas naging mabilis yung progress ng pag-gain weight ko when I had enough sleep. Mas naregdagan kasi yung tulog ko because wala ng transportation na ginagawa every day from office to home. So, di ba? Mas marami kang rest na time and mas less stress ka. So, once less stress ka, hindi ka masyadong naglulus ng weight or nawawala ng ganang kumain. So, importante din talaga na magkaroon ka ng enough sleep. Next naman is to drink milk. Consider drinking a glass or two of milk throughout the day. The full fat option is high in calories but will also provide lots of protein and calcium. Which is ideal for thinner people who are prone to lower bone densities. So ako naman, lagi akong kung makikita nyo mga grocery haul ko, lagi kami merong milk talaga. It's either milk lang na normal or yung almond milk. 4 hour coffee. So, ganun. Also guys, going back sa sinabi ko kanina about my picos, I just wanna quickly share na sa 5 years kong nagkaroon ng picos that I know of, um, I have tried a lot of different brands of pills. And hindi din ako consistent nun because I was really misinformed and hindi ko na din alam anong gagawin ko before. Since I've tried a lot of pills, no? Depende kasi yan talaga sa tao. Depende yan sa'yo kung ano talaga hiyang mo sa body mo. May mga pills kasi na nakakawala ng gana. May mga pills din kasi na nakakabigay ng mood swings mo. So, nagpapalit-palit ako because hindi hiyang sa akin. So, recently yung din, I mean last year, naggamit ako ng isang pill that was also recommended to me by my OB. And, by the way, huwag kayong uminom ng pills, guys, if hindi sinasabi ng OB nyo. And, hindi ko siya recommended for anyone. Kaya, pang last ko to siyang sinabi. Because, depende tang talaga yan if you have picos or it is recommended by your OB. So, talk to your OB first. So, ngayon na nga, guys, depende yan sa katawan mo if hiyang siya sa pills na yung mo. And for me, one thing na naka-help na mag-gain sa akin ng weight din is aside sa mga sinabi ko kanina, is also the pills. It made me want to eat. It made me feel okay. Walang mood swings and all. So, mas okay, mas hiyang ako sa kanya and mas gumagana yung kain ko. Also, with that, hindi lang naman yan yung reason, marami pang reasons, but feeling ko lang, isa din yan sa factor kung ba't ako nag-gain ng weight. So, ayun, gusto ko lang naman i-share. Also, if you're wondering pala sa mga photos na yan, kung ano yung weight ko, sa pagkakaalam ko nung nag-gym pa ako, nung sobrang payat ako, I was 32 kilos and sobrang gaan ko. Kaya ako yung mga binabato-bato sa cheer dance namin nung sumali ako sa cheer dance. Ngayon, I am proud and happy na 50 na ako. 50 kilos na ako and nasa normal range na siya sa height ko na 4'11. So, ayan guys. 4'11 na po ako. But, I'm happy with the weight that I gained and I'm happy sa fact na medyo may naman ako, especially sa mga photos ko ngayon. Kung compare mo before, mas okay na talaga siya and hindi na ako mukhang skeleton. Ayan. Yan. So, sobrang payat ko talaga, no? Parang skeleton. Especially nung time na nung braces ako. Kasi wala talaga akong ganang kumain masyado nung nag braces ako. After kung graduate ng college, ayun yung mga times na sobra talaga yung payat ko. And, ayun. Basta ang dami kong stages na pinagdaanan. Ang dami kong ginawa, ang dami ininom and all. But, wala talaga. So, I'm just really happy with the progress right now. And, I hope na may natutunan kayo dito and may nakuha kayo mga tips. Please comment down below if you have questions or uh, suggestions then for other people na mag-watch dito sa vlog na to, you can put your suggestions then sa comment section and I'll just pin it na lang if it would help other viewers if kulang man tong mga sinabi ko dito sa vlog na to. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this vlog. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Music